huge chunks of ice, not just in the water, but washing ashore. In fact, take a look at this picture that was taken just yesterday, and those are ice chunks. And to give you a perspective of how tall they are, that's a human being in the middle. That dark spot is a person. It towered over the person on Duck Beach. New at 6, Storm Team 5's Danielle Volmar with more on what some are calling a once in a lifetime sight. Usually, when people flock to the Cape, they're coming for rest and relaxation. But today, people are coming to see something they're sick of ice. And it looks so cool. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to come and check it out. Kathy was just one of the many that flocked to Wellfleet after seeing this picture of icebergs on social media. They look a lot bigger at low tide. When the tide comes in, they kind of float, so you don't really see the size of them. The tide was coming up when we were there. But it was still a sight to see. This is this is really spectacular. These ice flows are pretty rare, occurring three to four times in the last 20 years during the harshest winters. Obviously, this winter is no exception. Some years we don't get any ice. Some years very little. But then again, there are some years when we have. Uh, a lot of ice like this year. This winter has been extreme, not just in terms of snow, but in terms of the cold. And that's what happens to this ocean water. It will then freeze, and because of the currents and the tides, then these chunks of ice will break apart. And when the tide is coming up, like right now, it brings these chunks of ice close to us. The ice will form around a piling. When the tide comes in, it'll pull that piling right out. So this spring means we're building for the harbor master. But for now, let's admire Mother Nature. It's once in a lifetime. You got to see it. If you want to see the ice chunks at full size, come at low tide, and you want to come sooner than later, as temperatures will be as warm as the 50s by tomorrow. In Wellfleet, Danielle Volmar, WCVB News Center 5.